Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, this is the monthly chart of silver on netdania.com. And you can see here that we're still in an uptrend. Let me put the arrows here. We're still in an uptrend on the MACD. It, this is an unprecedented time because we haven't really seen anything like this except for maybe back here before the serious bull market started. But you can see that all the way back in early 2015, the MACD crossed on the monthly. And it's it's still rising. It's actually starting to break away uh, right down in here. Now, the big question is going to be, is this going to be the bottom? Have we seen the bottom? Now, there's a lot of things that go into that, and there's a lot of news that's going on. And let me just say before I say that, that uh, so now that all the controversy is out about all the conspiracies, uh, I pretty much covered everything that can be covered here as far as the side topics. And hopefully we can get back to the main topic, which is stacking silver. Uh, I think it's important to share with you my views about the news and what's going on with politics and conspiracy theories, whether it's, there are so many of them, evolution, King James Bible, space travel, lies about the earth, geocentrism, flat earth, uh, all the tranny stuff, the cloning and all that stuff. You know, we can agree to disagree on that stuff. But uh, the main issue is going to be what's going to be happening going forward with the economy. And I'm going to be talking actually tonight about um, selling panic and selling um, fear, which is a big, a big thing in, in this alternative space that we have. And uh, even though I like to chase uh, rabbit trails, we'll say, I like to, I, I want to know the truth. That's the main thing that Jennifer and I are both people who want to know the truth. We, we know we have the truth, 100% truth, because we have the King James Bible. So we know we have the truth and uh, absolute truth. But all of the peripheral things that are true, whether it's about medicine, whether it's about uh, science, or whether it's about all these other things. We also want to know the truth on those things, and, and we trust that the Lord's going to show us those things. But as well as we want to know the truth about the economy. Now, there's definitely something really big coming here, and uh, this turn up may just be another fake turn up we've seen many other times. Uh, in silver, or this may be the real deal. Uh, I'm leaning towards that this may be the real deal. Let's pull to the daily and let's get to um, the, the lines. And I'll try to show you why I think that's the case. Now, we know that the Federal Reserve is, is close to backing off from this interest rate increase, this this series of interest rate increases. And, you know, that's going to be a big thing. We've seen serious weakness in the dollar just in the last few days. And I think that's related to that. Uh, somehow the Fed's going to have to try to extricate themselves from their interest rate increase situation because uh, I, I don't think uh, they can hold to that. Uh, things are falling apart just too fast now. And we've covered a lot of those stories, whether it's the Baltic Dry or whether it's the retail collapse. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. But uh, technically, this is probably going to be the best one we can look at technically for silver. It's going to be right about there. And uh, this is not taking the largest trend. This is taking this minor trend from uh, starting in August of 2013. And you can see we're coming right up to testing that line. Now, the question is, are we going to get a breakout above it? If we do, we could run. We could seriously run. The next resistance is very, very clear on the chart. It's right here. I'll try to draw the line uh, to get all the touch points. It's going to be right there. Um, you can see that this line is going to correspond to uh, not only the test that we had here and multiple tests here and here, the breakdown there, but also the rally 
failure there and then the trend failure there. So $18.50, $19, that's going to be a really important price. Now, I've talked about stacking on the dips. I've always stacked on the dips. And uh, I, I recommend stacking on the dips because when when you see silver dropping really, really fast and really, really hard, it's probably a good time to buy. Uh, that's, that's just the way I buy. And if you look at the long-term chart here, uh, we had a lot of people who became disillusioned when this event occurred. And this was the quantitative easing run-up. Uh, starting with QE2 at, in the summer of 2010. And, and you can see we had just a moonshot in silver. Now, I had been stacking for a very, very long time. I did very, very little stacking during this entire time frame. Uh, again, I've pointed out the most I paid for silver is $32 an ounce. And those were numismatic coins that were priced quite a bit higher than the spot price. So I don't think I've ever purchased silver when spot was above 28, I think. I may be wrong. But definitely I uh, decreased my stacking when the price was rising. And that's what you should do. Um, you never know. It could just go to infinity uh, at some point. But you definitely want to decrease your stacking if the price is running way crazy because you don't know what's going to happen. But if you believe fundamentally in this asset and again we're not stacking at least i'm speaking for myself we're not stacking to get rich this is about protecting ourselves and our families from the financial crisis that is inevitable that's coming to the west and the western governments and getting our savings into a safe place and there's no question that this asset is the most undervalued asset in the history of the world. I think I've proven that multiple times. If you don't agree with it, uh, do your own research, but but I think the research will bear out that this is the most undervalued asset when we're talking about physical silver. Now, the time to stack is when the price is dropping. I think we're going to start to get into a phase here fairly soon where we're going to have to stack when it's rising. And I'm going to get to the Lunar Series and why I think now is the time to start stacking um, some of those coins, if you haven't been already. Um, but I want to get over and look at this issue here um, with Michael Snyder, who's covered on um, Husky's channel. Now... If you don't know who Husky is, and, and this is another issue I wanted to address, Husky uh, 39, 394XP, uh, he's a King James only. Of course, I'm King James only. There's no question it's King James only. Um, just do your own research. But uh, this is a person that uh, I have come very strongly against because he came out and made a stand uh, that interracial marriage is wrong, which in my opinion is absolutely laughable. There is absolutely no biblical support for a position that someone who marries someone of another race is committing a sin. It, it's just plain stupid. And if you, if you want to go and find the videos, I don't have them here, but you can... Um, look them up and and I Jennifer and I have both made comments uh, I'm not going to go into all the biblical evidence of Moses and his Ethiopian wife and um, all of the uh, women that are in the messianic line of Christ that come from Gentile nations I'm, I'm not going to go into all the evidence but I'm just pointing out that this is a person that I've come against I have sharply rebuked this person on a view that it's wrong for blacks to marry whites and whites to marry blacks. It's, it's just a downright stupid opinion and uh, not supported by the Bible in any way whatsoever. But now this video is actually something that I agree with and he is exposing Michael Snyder. Now Michael Snyder is somebody that I have linked on our 
public site, Silver for the People, and he has multiple blogs like myself. Again, um, the reason why I'm blogging is not because I want to get rich, and trust me, we're not getting rich. In fact, we have often operated at a loss. But uh, I'm interested in telling the truth. I'm not interested in getting rich. Whereas it seems to me pretty clear that Michael Snyder um, is apparently more interested in getting rich off of selling panic than anything else. So let's let's listen to Husky here and watch some of this. Get busy preparing to survive the entire seven-year period and stop winning souls. And stop trusting that the Lord's going to catch you away imminently. So you stop to think about the things laying up treasures in heaven and you start to try laying up treasures on the earth. And of course, you know, Jim Baker has a part in this. We'll show you that here in a minute. Let's continue. You know, these free trippers, they, they don't have any scripture to point to. So they start getting into mind games and they start twisting scriptures and say, well, if you squint really hard, maybe you can see something over here and you got to put it with over here. The Bible is very clear. Just read right. what the Bible says. It says it's there's not clear. a pre-tribulation rapture. Jim Baker says he's not going to try to convert anybody on this, but I am because millions of believers are being hurt by this doctrine. <laughs> the Bible says there's no pre-trib rapture. Okay, stupid. Chapter and verse, please. You know? It's so funny. These people are such stinking lying hypocrites. Show me one verse that says pre-trib rapture. And I say, well, that exact word. Well, see, it's not in the Bible. And I say, okay, do you believe in a post-trib rapture? Yes, that's what the Bible teaches. Really? Where does it say post-trib rapture? <laughs> you know? Hypocrite. This is stupid nonsense. Millions of people are being hurt by this doctrine. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, when the Lord catches us away from here, and it's coming soon, when He catches us away, you talk about what a day that will be, when my Jesus I shall see, when I look upon His face, the one who saved me by His grace, you know, when He takes me by the hand and leads me through that promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. It's an old hymn if you don't know what I'm talking about. There will be no sorrow there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there. And forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be. We're being hurt by the rapture? You say, is he really that crazy? No, not really. He's after your money. I'll show you that here in just a couple minutes. And some other interesting little things. Let's continue with this more entertainment here. You know, I just say this real quick. A friend of mine and I, back when I was down in Pennsylvania before I knew my wife, we used to watch Benny Hinn occasionally because it's great entertainment. <laughs> These people are just nuts. I don't see how people can be so dumb as to be deceived by them. But let's continue. Millions of Christians are not going to be prepared. Millions of Christians in America are going to die waiting for a pre-jubilation rapture. That is not going to happen. We need to tell the truth. Very few people are telling the truth. That's why I love Jim Baker. I love what they're trying to do. They are dare to go on the airwaves and tell the truth, even though it costs some supporters, it costs some money, but they're, they're telling you the truth. Okay, so there you have Michael Snyder of the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream blog. He's the, Michael Snyder and I have a lot in common, really. We're both just bloggers who are in the alternative media space. Now, this guy is interested in selling a whole bunch of survival preps and whatever. Now, I get offers all the time. I can't even tell you how many offers I get. I don't even really pay attention to them uh, for advertisers and things like that. Our primary advertisers on our public blog are Google AdSense and Microsoft Bing Network. We really don't partner with others. We've we've worked in the past with it. It's just too much work. And that's one of the reasons why we went to the member site because uh, we'd rather just deal with the people directly who are interested in our message. But uh, these people who are selling panic. Now, let me make it clear. I do recommend that you have 
a, a certain amount. Let me tell you what I have. Jennifer and I have uh, put away a decent amount of, of stored food. Uh, we have backup power systems. We have backup water systems. Uh, we have the basics, what I consider the basics for uh, what could happen. But uh, we don't associate ourselves with those that are selling fear and selling panic because really, honestly, I think these people are just trying to enrich themselves. And uh, just let me point out here anecdotally to you that uh, we have three people, as uh, Husky pointed out in his video, we have three people that actually went to prison and came out. And uh, the three are Kent Hovind, uh, actually, Husky didn't point this out. I'm pointing this out. Uh, Kent Hovind, he went to prison and came out. Um, that uh, Jim Baker that we just saw there, if you remember, he was in the PTO club and got caught in a sex scandal. I, th I think, I, I thought it was a homosexual scandal, but maybe it was just a straight sex scandal and came out. And uh, then we have Fritz Springmeier as well, who has exposed a lot of the Illuminati and mind control stuff. But what's very interesting, as Husky points out, is that these three people went in as pre-tribbers and came out as post-tribbers. That's very interesting. So there's a lot of people out there that are selling panic. Now, I'm not interesting, <laughs> interested in selling panic. Uh, let me give you the verse here uh, that uh, pretty much sums up things for me. This is where I'm at, uh, and th this is how I live every day. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good place to be. I, I suggest you all be there. And this is Philippians 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. In other words, as Jesus said, don't worry. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So, this is where you need to be. Don't listen to the people that are selling panic. Now, let's look at what's going on with this monkey here, because I think the time is starting. Uh, I was looking at Atmex the other day, and I pull up Atmex, I pull up uh, Jam Bullion, I pull up Provident, I pull up uh, Gainesville Coins, and I, and I track these lunar coins every, nearly every day. And uh, this half ounce monkey had ticked up to about twelve fifty to thirteen dollars for that half ounce. I, I don't track the one ounce that closely, but I do track that half ounce because that's what I've been stacking for the last few years. And now they're out. So uh, I think that probably Atmex bumped the price because they, they probably found from the Perth Mint they couldn't get any more. Uh, now we have Gainesville Coins here that still has about 2,400 of these coins. You can see here 2,402 of these coins are left and you can get them from Gainesville for 1148 Now I would say, as I do, I buy on credit card. What I do is I uh, make up the difference by my points. I use a credit card that gives points based on spending, and so it, it reduces it close down to where this price is. We've had members report issues with Gainesville, so um, you need to protect yourself. A credit card is a fantastic way to protect yourself because you have the ability to charge it back. So I am going to start stacking this coin fairly soon and I would say with the price movement that we're seeing in silver uh, I think we're going to start stacking um, on a rising market that's going to start happening soon and that's where I'm going to start stacking but I'm definitely not selling panic and we'll talk to you next time